begin. Good morning. My name is Christine Saunders. That's C-H-R-I-S-T-I-N-E. S-A-U-N-D-E-R-S. -E I'm here uh, on behalf of the Progressive Leadership Alliance of Nevada in strong support of Assembly Bill 4. For the past two decades, PLAN has been calling on this body to hold the mining industry accountable. And you've heard over and over again this past week that what we need is real revenue reform, like taxing the mines, rather than balancing our budget on the backs of working families, children, and Nevada's most vulnerable. Any chance to raise new revenue is a chance to change the programs you cut. I hope you heard the overwhelming testimony and support of this bill earlier tonight. I hope you remember that many current members of this body across the aisle have voted to limit deductions before. Nevadans are counting on you to step up again. Our children are counting on you to step up again. I urge you to listen to them. It's time for long-term solutions that set Nevada's revenue system on the right tra track. Time to make mining pay their fair share, and I urge you to vote yes. Thank you. Caller with the last three digits, 740. Please slowly state your name and spell it for the record. You have two minutes to start now. Good morning. My name is – good evening. Good morning. My name is Alex Goff. That is spelled A-L-E-X-G-O-S-F. I had a state senator one time tell me that – the job of a legislator is walking on the beach and seeing all the starfish that you know will certainly perish if they're left out there. And you have the opportunity to pick one up and throw it back in the ocean. And understanding the job when you get into it, you can't save them all, but you do your hardest to save as many as you can. Um, this pandemic has brought unprecedented pain and suffering onto many Nevadans, as you all know. I don't need to lecture you on this. You're a, you are a citizen legislature. I'm sure you've experienced in your own life and in your community some of the pain and suffering that's out there. This bill gives you the opportunity to throw one of those starfish back into the ocean and to assure that a, a child or a parent has the opportunity uh, that they'll never be able to thank you for. Uh, sadly, many people may not stay up till 1 a.m. to hear this, and they may not know your names. I know you don't do this for fame or for glory, but know that this vote will allow you to save one family. And uh, I know some of you have all the reasons why you should vote against this bill, but all you need is one reason to vote for it. So please, I implore you to find that one reason and support this bill. Thank you. Good night. Caller with the last three digits, 554, testifying in favor of the bill. Please slowly pronounce and spell your first and last name for the record. You have two minutes. You may begin. Good morning, representatives and senators. My name is Dexter Lim, for the record, D-E-X-T-E-R-L-I-M, M as in mining justice. I'm a representative of the Sunrise Movement Las Vegas Hub, and through my organization, a partner of the Nevada Environmental Justice Coalition, here to stand in staunch support of AB4. So we, we the public, have been bringing up the need to make mine finally pay their fair share. We raised the issue when it was unpopular. We raised the issue when you wouldn't entertain discussion on it. And we raised the issue so much because every part of our state is impacted socially, financially, and environmentally by the extractive and capitalistic avarice of the mining corporation. What many seem to fail to recognize is that the mines need us. These are Nevadan lands and Nevadan resources, and the entities such as mines that disturb and, and pillage them must give their to the Nevadan community. This is not a matter of partisanship. This is a matter of equality. And while I recognize that this bill still doesn't necessarily take us all the way there, it is still forward in momentum, so I ask you to be bold, to stand for your constituents, and to pass this bill today. Thank you. Caller with the last three digits, 488, testifying in favor of the bill. Please slowly pronounce and spell your first and last name for the record. You have two minutes. You may begin. Good morning. My name is Jennifer Cansley, J-E-N-N-I-F-E-R, Cansley, C-A-N-T-L-E-Y, and I am a member of Nevada Environmental Justice Coalition and a proud environmental activist um, for climate justice. I am so thankful for all of you that are staying up tonight and listening to this. I believe it is definitely time, as others have said, to tax these mining companies who have made billions of dollars off of Nevadans 
and these are people that don't even live in our state. It is time to protect those who do not have money to fix this debt, um, tax those that have the money. I thank you again, and I fully support this bill. Caller with the last three digits, 155. Just signing in favor of the bill. Please slowly pronounce and spell your first and last name for the record. You have two minutes. You may begin. Thank you, Madam Chair and members of the committee. For the record, my name is Christy Cabrera, C-H-R-I-S-T-I-C-A-B-R-E-R-A. -E I'm calling on behalf of the Nevada Conservation League in support of AB4. It's time we call on the mining industry to pay their fair share. Nevada's landscape is littered with abandoned and decommissioned mines, and mining shouldn't continue to receive excessive deductions, including deductions for reclamation to clean up the messes they make on our land. We urge your support on this bill. Thank you for your time. Caller with the last three digits, 301, testifying in favor of the bill. Please slowly pronounce and spell your first and last name for the record. You have two minutes. You may begin. For the record, this is Kimberly Mull, K-I-M-B-E-R-L-Y-N-U-L-L. -L -L. I'm an advocate for victims of violence against women and children. Nevada has historically been at the top of domestic violence, sexual assault, and sex trafficking in our state. Yet we have the least state-provided funds for victims and service providers. The pandemic has made the rate of domestic violence and violence against children and child abuse um, even higher than it already was in our state. And we have no money for victims. Um, there are no funds coming in. There are no resources available. And we need any kind of help that we can get to help service these individuals. And any revenue would be beneficial, but having revenue come from a resource that is available, ready to get um, funds to the victims, and is basically a fair share um, already needed um, is beneficial. Um, so I urge you to support SB4. Um, Thank you. Caller with the last three digits, 705. Testifying in favor of the bill, please slowly pronounce and spell your first and last name for the record. You have two minutes. You may begin. Hi, my name is Jackie Chaklis, J-A-C-K-I-E-C-H-I-A-K-E-L-A-S. Good morning. Uh, I echo the callers before me. This is finally a step in the right direction. Uh, we are here, so please vote yes on AB4. Uh, you all are there to represent the people of, of Nevada, and this is what we have been calling for for decades. So please vote yes on AB4. Thank you. Caller with the last three digits, 084, testifying in favor of the bill. Please slowly pronounce and spell your first and last name for the record. You have two minutes. You may begin. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Cynthia Moore, C-I-N-T-H-I-A-M-O-O-R-E. I'm a member of the Nevada Environmental Justice Coalition, and I'm calling in support of AB4. Time and time again, this budget has been balanced on the backs of working families. It is time to look for other solutions. This bill is a step in the right direction. Many have said that this bill will end mining. I ask how. Our state has some minerals and the product that has made them profitable. Where else are they going to go? It is time for mining to step up and pay their fair share. I urge you to vote I urge you to set aside uh, partisanship and put Nevada families first. Please vote yes on this bill. Thank you. Caller with the last three digits, 576, testifying in favor of the bill. Please pronounce your name and spell your first and last name. For the record, you have two minutes. You may begin. Good morning, and thank you, Madam Leader, and the members of the Senate for your dedication to the state. 
My name is Eric Jang, E-R-I-C-J-E-N-G, on behalf of One Asia and Nevada. We're advocating for the Asian Pacific Islander community here in Nevada, and we are here to urge uh, defenders to speak for. Uh, this is a good bill and a step in the right direction. We have seen too many hardworking Nevada families struggling to make ends meet during this pandemic. Too many essential public services slash and too many gaping holes in our health care and education that's being cut right now. In time, we're reading stories of executives for these large, largest mine operators raising in tens of millions of dollars. We just saw Barrett Gold's uh, chairman actually cash in $50 million worth of stock. That's how good they're doing. The mines will be okay. It's time for them to pay their fair share of taxes and we, they will be okay, and we need all the help we can get. So we urge you to pass Assembly Bill 4. Thank you very much. Caller with the last three digits, 104. Testifying in favor of the bill, please slowly pronounce and spell your first and last name for the record. You have two minutes, and you may begin. Good morning. My name is Maria Teresa Lieberman Barraga for the record. It's spelled M-A-R-I-A hyphen T-E-R-E-S-A, last name L-I-E-B-E-R-M-A-N-N hyphen P-A-R-R-A-G-A. And I am here uh, representing myself and people like my mother and others that have been struggling in this very difficult time. And I am pleading with every single legislator that is listening to all of this testimony and considering this bill to ask yourselves, who will you side with? Will you side with the people, the small business owners, the children that need to have schools that are well-funded, the public employees that have been giving their lives to this state, or to a, a court, an industry that, sure, they brought in jobs, but they haven't paid their fair share since the inception of this state. I ask all the legislators here, what are you going to say to the small business owners that are struggling right now that can't make the deductions that mining can? What will you say to them if this doesn't pass? I hope it's that you did all you could and that you voted for AB4. So I ask you all to vote for AB4. Thank you for your time. Caller with the last three digits, 525, testifying in favor of the bill. Please slowly pronounce and spell your first and last name for the record. You have two minutes. You may begin. Hi, my name is Anna Perez McKay. That's A-N-A-P-E-R-E-Z hyphen M-C-K-A-Y. Uh, I'm calling in favor of AB4. I think that uh, even considering placing all of the cuts and the deficits of coronavirus onto working families and children, our students, is completely unacceptable. Um, it horrifies me that it's even uh, a question that the, our state could value children uh, and our working families, small businesses, and our people that little. Uh, so I implore every single one of you to vote for AB4 to make the mines pay their fair share for once and to not not let these deficits fall on the people who need them the most, to let the companies that uh, have the least to lose pay very small amounts so that those who have the most to lose uh, aren't the ones hurt by this the most. Uh, thank you for your time. Uh, seriously, please, please consider this. Uh, thank you. Call with the last three digits. Zero. Oops, see, 039, testifying in favor of the bill. Please slowly pronounce and spell your first and last name for the record. You have two minutes. You may begin. <laughs> uh, my name is Erica Minaberry. That's E-R-I-K-A-M-I-N-A-B-E-R-R-Y. And I am also testifying in favor of AB4. And I'm testifying as a fourth-generation Nevadan. My children are fifth-generation Nevadan. My grandparents worked in the mines, and at that time, they were so thankful to have a job opportunity. However, my family has remained a low-income family for the last four generations because we just don't have the incentives as working-class people that the corporations do. So the expert testimony 
that was given where the person said we have to think about this like an economist, I would encourage you all to think about this like your constituents because if the cuts go through, my family won't be able to make it here in Nevada. So uh, thank you all, and uh, thank you for working so late night for us, and I hope that you do uh, vote in favor of baby poor. I relinquish the rest of my time. Thank you. Caller with the last three digits, 550, testifying in favor of the bill. Please slowly pronounce and spell your first and last name for the record. You have two minutes. You may begin. Hi, my name is Madeleine Williams. That's M-A-D-E-L-E-I-N-E. -E. Last name Williams, W-I-L-L-I-A-M-S. And I'm calling in support of AB4. Um, in response to the letters that you must have received from various uh, mining associations uh, objecting to the tax on, on the basis of it being a single source tax and arguing that uh, with record unemployment, all businesses are suffering the same way. I would object to that uh, and remind you all that the, the, the bill that's proposed still leaves them with over 50 million of their, uh, their tax liability that they don't have to pay. The mines will be fine. Nevadans will not if you do not take care of your constituents. And it is your duty and your responsibility to do so. I encourage you and I, to do so, and I remind you that that is your sole purpose as legislatures, is to do what's right for Nevadans. Thank you. I see my time. Caller with the last three digits, 898, testifying in favor of the bill. Please slowly pronounce and spell your first and last name for the record. You have two minutes. You may begin. Good morning, Senator Canizaro and members of the Senate. For the record, my name is Annette Magnus, and I am the Executive Director of Battleborn Progress. And we are in full support of AB4. For the last few days, multitudes of Nevadans from all over this state have been begging you to find additional revenue so that working Nevadans and families aren't the ones bearing the brunt of the budget cuts that you, be, are being made by you. This is a great first step. Assemblywoman Peggy Pierce was a fierce advocate for justice and was one of the women that I have always looked up to most in this body. And introducing a bill based on her language is a bold step, and we expect to see legislation like that from all of our elected officials. It's absolute nonsense to hear members of this legislature say they didn't know a bill like this was coming. People have been calling into both chambers for nine days talking about this. Nevadans have been asking for this for decades. It's time for the legislature to do the right thing for our kids and our families and get this bill to the governor's desk. As a native Nevadan, I have seen cut after cut, but never a real attempt to raise revenue. We have heard the testimony from crying mothers who are struggling, educators literally begging you for help, doctors and healthcare professionals worried about the health and well-being of our entire state, all of them telling you exactly how they will suffer if you do not find the revenue to fill this shortfall. While many industries are struggling in the midst of this pandemic, mining companies are not. They have not felt the economic hardship that we have in our state, and they must do right by those suffering in Nevada. We ask every member of this body to come together tonight and vote yes on AB4. This is a nonpartisan issue. This bill will start to give Nevadans the much needed relief we need during these difficult times. Do the right thing tonight for Assemblywoman Pierce and all of the hardworking Nevadans in this state. Mining must pay for what they extract from our state, on our land. We should not have to beg the people we elect to do the right thing. Nevadans are watching you right now, even at 1 a.m. There is no excuse, and we will hold you accountable if you vote wrong tonight. Thank you.